Hatred is gained as much by good works as by evil. The leader should know how to enter into evil when necessity commands. Among other evils which being unarmed brings you, it causes you to be despised. So far as he is able, a prince should stick to the path of good, but, if the necessity arises, he should know how to follow evil. Wisdom consists of knowing how to distinguish the nature of trouble, and in choosing the lesser evil. For among other evils caused by being disarmed, it renders you contemptible, which is one of those disgraceful things which a prince must guard against. It is necessary for him, who lays out a state and arranges laws for it, to presuppose that all men are evil, and that they are always going to act according to the wickedness of their spirits, whenever they have free scope. Whoever takes it upon himself to establish a commonwealth and prescribe laws, must presuppose all men naturally bad, and that they will yield to their innate evil passions as often as they can do so with safety. Thus it happens in matters of state, for knowing afar off, which it is only given a prudent man to do, the evils that are brewing, they are easily cured. But when, for want of such knowledge, they are allowed to grow so that everyone can recognize them, there is no longer any remedy to be found. In the same manner, having been reduced by disorder, and sunk to their utmost state of depression, unable to descend lower, they, of necessity, reascend, and thus from good they gradually decline to evil, and from evil again return to good. The reason is, that valor produces peace, peace, repose, repose, disorder, disorder, ruin, so from disorder order springs, from order virtue, and from this, glory and good fortune. Well used are those cruelties, if it is permitted to speak well of evil, that are carried out in a single stroke, done out of necessity to protect oneself, and are not continued but are instead converted into the greatest possible benefits for the subjects. Badly used are those cruelties which, although being few at the outset, grow with the passing time instead of disappearing. Those who follow the first method can remedy their condition with God and with men, the others cannot possibly survive. An armed republic submits less easily to the rule of one of its citizens than a republic armed by foreign forces. Rome and Sparta were for many centuries well armed and free. The Swiss are well armed and enjoy great freedom. Among other evils caused by being disarmed, it renders you contemptible. It is not reasonable to suppose that one who is armed will obey willingly one who is unarmed, or that any unarmed man will remain safe among armed servants. <laughs>